please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Today I want to show you a very nice Vedic instrument. This is called a Shanku. This is a tool used for finding the four directions. When you're building your house according to the Vastu principles, it is very, very important that all the walls are aligned to the main directions. There are so many faults and problems that can happen if you don't follow these uh, alignments. The, all the energies of nature, air, wind, fire, will flow very nicely within your house if you're aligned. It's like trying to swim in a river against the current. Uh, you don't want to do that. So, this tool, Shanku, uh, measures 36 centimeters, and we make a circle of 72 centimeters, just like you see here. Then, as the sunshine comes in the morning from the east over there, it will cast a shadow, and then you make a marking where the shadow touches the circle. Then you wait until sunset, or actually before sunset, you make the next mark on the other side. And once more the next day in the sunrise. Once you have these marks made, you can actually determine your eastern direction. I will show you uh, in a 3D model how to, how to calculate these things, because it's easier, I can show a little animation. But it is a very simple process, and it is actually more accurate than if you were using, for example, a compass. Uh, there's a tendency in last two experts these days, or so-called experts, to say, ah, just use a compass. But uh, the compass is actually not pointing to the actual north, but the magnetic north. And there's a technical difference there. You can do your research. But what we're looking for is true north. This is what we want to align ourselves with. And uh, the compass will give you magnetic north. So this is uh, called a magnetic declination. We want to, to find true north. And once we find those directions, then we can proceed to mark our perimeter and do all further steps in the Vastu construction. So let me show you the 3D model. Hare Krishna. We're using a software called SketchUp. This is what we're using to design our whole house. And this we'll use for the Shanku example too. First, we're going to draw the Shanku with its circle around it. The bottom of the shanku, it's six centimeters. And the top is three centimeters. The height is 36 centimeters. And you'll notice the shadow as the time passes during the day, the shadow moves along. So right now the shadow is not very accurate doesn't help as much. So the scripture recommends to change the top into a lotus bud. So we're going to do that. So now you'll notice it's a very clear pointing shadow. Very easy to mark. So the first step is to go level the land and in the morning as the sun rises we'll capture the point where the shadow touches the circle And 
And then we'll do the same thing the same day when it touches at sunset, before sunset. Then we'll do the same thing the next day. These markings will determine our eastern direction. The next step is to divide this marking of the first day and the second day in three parts. From the first third to the west that is our east, our actual east. And if we compare this line It is parallel to the southwest east, perfectly parallel. Then from these two points, we can draw a circle of 36 radius. And these two points indicate north. And you'll notice this also matches with the southwest north. It is very important that your knowledge comes from a bona fide source. In this case, we are taking a scripture called Manujalaya Chandrika. It is a Vastu scripture from South India, and it is actually translated to English uh, in a book called Engineering Commentary of Manujalaya Chandrika. I will add the details in the description. And please make sure that if you're going to start a Vastu construction or do any kind of construction at all, to at least understand the basic principles of Vastu. Please uh, add any questions or comments in the section below and visit our website, thevedicway.org. Thank you. Hare Krishna.